what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte reacts here back with another reaction man with some more slam dunk yeah i'm ready hopefully you guys are ready also shohoku just took their first loss um and it was it was very sad man <laughs> it was very sad um but we're gonna jump back in and get right back up on that horse and come back stronger right so this is a valuable lesson for them to learn you can't win you can't win all the games you know you can't win all the games you can win most of them but you can't win all of them and it's a good good great great experience teacher for hanamichi himself um being that this is his first time playing basketball only a couple months deep into play, playing basketball and he is this good already he's well on his way to becoming the genius that he claims to be <laughs> you know uh but anyway man we gonna jump in and we gonna see what sakuragi has to offer now how is he going to reflect how is he gonna try to get better hopefully they show some of that and you know slam dunk is turning out to be a great story so far um, as I said, man, the measuring stick for it as a sports anime um, is Ippo for me because Ippo was my first sports anime I'm watching. So that's the measuring stick for it. And Ippo is in my number one spot, my top five of all time. You know what I'm saying? Just it's just me. You get what I'm saying? Um, I mean, I guess if you could put it objectively. I probably wouldn't have Ippo there, but subjectively as in my top five, Ippo is in that number one spot for me because it just means a lot. It just means it just means a lot. And I think they did a lot in that anime they didn't have to do. Um you know, because I mean if you take out most of the, the exposition and stuff like that and the lessons learned through watching an anime like that, you're kind of just left with a shonen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just a really, really good sh shonen fights and the fight. But even during the fights, they were teaching you certain things um, about, you know, perseverance and not giving up in situations, even though they're dire. You know, so, um, so definitely, man, Ippo is just is just one of those. Um, so um, we'll see once Slam Dunk is over. Once I get through. The main event which is the anime and then moving on to the manga we're gonna get to see what is it where it will stand amongst the greats anyways see you guys for the review all right so those were two very well done episodes um i like them i like them because a it, um it's going to show you that these characters you know these human characters that we're watching go through the same you know what i'm saying not everybody you know maybe the guys before they've experienced loss in basketball before so they can bounce back a little bit quicker and i didn't mind i didn't mind that he skipped school to, you know get find figure out a way you know um to 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 cope or to get over this hump of losing or blaming himself and i knew he was gonna come through and you know back because when you have that much self-confidence it is not hard for you to bounce back you're gonna feel the loss at first you're gonna feel that disappointment at first but you're gonna bounce back pretty quickly and not kind of wallow in the in, in that sadness and in that depression you know you're gonna bounce back pretty quickly um so i was happy that they took the time to you know a whole episode where he was just dealing with it but i'm also interested in this character this fuku character which they introduce i don't know if he plays for um Ryonin, um because he mentioned sendo so maybe he does you know what i'm saying or maybe he was just not there that day 
you know um and he does play for Rionin. so i'm looking forward to seeing what this character who is this character looks like a very saucy character that they tried to introduce there but other than that when it comes on to the second episode and what the coach is trying to do um i think he's trying to help sakuragi to realize what his role is on the team you get what i'm saying and to understand what his role is you are you are here to rebound dunks layups get close to the basket and get in because you ain't got no jump shot okay um it would be cool if he could develop a jump shot but they really don't have time for him to develop a jump shot right now you know what i'm saying it would be nice if they gave him something like a hook shot or something like that something where he can use his footwork to get a basket over the player that's defending him that would be awesome if sakuragi could develop a a hook shot inside that would be really cool to see him do um he doesn't have the i don't think he has the power he has the speed um somewhat a power but i think he doesn't have as much power as akagi does to create space like if if you want to talk about people like shaq like shaq you know what I'm saying? Like, seven feet, 300 and something pounds. Like, he was just a monster inside. Unstoppable force that, you know what I'm saying? Like, when he backs you down in the post, you're, it's like you're feeling like a whole house is bouncing up against you. I can imagine because I'm telling you, I'm 6'1", right? And my nephew, he plays ball. And I remember one time, you know, when he, when he was like, you know, we were playing a game in the in the backyard at his at his house, and that boy was backing me down, man. And I was like, I don't want none of this, <laughs> okay? I don't want none of this. Dude is six. He's what six, 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 like two hundred and like eighty pounds, dude. Like it's, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't weigh that much. You know what I'm saying? And he's my nephew. At the time, he was like sixteen, bro. He was like sixteen, and I'm telling you. That wasn't a great experience, I'll tell you that much. To feel that much weight just hitting your body, it, it, it's not cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I can I, I can imagine you gotta have that power. Akagi has that kind of power to kind of create space for himself inside and he knows how to do, you know, post moves to get around defense and stuff like that. Sakuragi doesn't really have the experience I know he's going to develop it over time, but I think he should just, I like what coach had to say about um, Rukawa and Sakuragi basically saying that, you know what I'm saying, this is two guys that is going to rock Japan, and I see that in their future as well, because the thing about it is that if they, if those two are on their game, everybody else can be on their game. And they don't they literally pretty much don't have a weakness you know what i'm saying um so i think that's how it's going to play out in the future it's going to be great to see how this team develops and becoming better and just demolishing teams you get what i'm saying and it's not that other teams don't have great players um i just think that the journey that we're following with with shoku is just going to shine through in this anime and we're gonna have some close games I can imagine that this next game that's coming up, they're probably going to wash this opponent. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying that the way how Shoku is playing right now, going up against basically the number one team, number one player in the country, high school player in the country, and only losing by two points, that's absolutely incredible achievement with with a with a um, injured Ika Akagi, uh, uh, you know, with an injured player, one of their best players got injured. Mitsui wasn't on his game. Um, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, if they can do that against the best team in 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 the league, you know what I'm saying? They could do, they could wash anybody else, and that's just my just gauging the power levels, if you will, <laughs> shown in terms. Anyways. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man, hopefully you guys enjoy these reactions. I'm going to try to get some more reactions out for early access. I might drop a couple more um, 
episodes on maybe tomorrow night or something like that and just put a couple more on early access but we'll see how things go but anyways guys don't forget to hit the like button man and always leave a comment in the comment section do something and i'm saying i don't know what to tell you guys this time around to get you guys to to comment because last time you guys commented so much just for me asking one question of something i want you guys to tell me but i can't think of anything right now i don't want to give you guys homework you know what i'm saying just comment on the video say nice video love your reactions bro anything you get what i'm saying because that's how i think our last reaction did way more than i expected to be honest um because usually we get somewhere around you know 200 to 250 views and last reaction because of the interaction it does impact the 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 the, the numbers it does impact the numbers if you get a lot of comments on video the algorithm will push it push your video a lot more so i'm pretty sure that it's not only subscribers that watch that last reaction i'm pretty sure that a lot of new people were watching that reaction as well because it has over 300 views right now so i appreciate you guys for doing that and um yeah so just comment on the video man and i will catch you guys for the next one and as always man it's terabyte reacts and i'm out peace